dear student welcome to my channel this is a second video on semantic analysis in this video i am going to explain various semantic relationship between lexeme and their senses now let us start lexemes or words are related through various semantic relationship such as synonymy antonymy gradation homonymy polysemy hypernymy hyponymy meronymy holonymy entailment and troponymy first we will see the synonymy that is synonyms words two or more words have very similar meaning but different orthographic and phonological form two lexemes are synonyms if they can be successfully substituted for each other in all situations different words can convey the same or very similar meaning allowing them to be interchangeable in various contexts but not possible in all cases but most of the cases are possible for the synonyms now we will see the example the first example is smart or intelligent both refer to someone who has high level of mental capability and the examples for smart and intelligent quick and fast both describe something happening at a high speed for example he can run a quick race he ran a fast race happy joyful both refer to the feeling of great pleasure and contentment begin start both mean to commence or initiate something end and finish uh, end and finish both indicate the completion of something silent or quiet both describe the absence of noise so they are synonyms to each other and they can be replaced with each other in most of the situation so these are the examples given for this particular lexeme now synonyms are frequently interchangeable in everyday language allowing for flexibility in word choice without changing the overall meaning of a sentence for example we can use she is a talented artist or she is a skilled artist however in specific context certain synonyms may not be appropriate due to subtle difference in connotation or use convention for example please provide the fare for the journey or please provide the price for the journey so first statement is correct but the second statement we are not using even fare and price are synonyms to each other now see the example big versus large she is my big sister is okay but she is my large sister is the incorrect use fare versus price how much is the bus fare and how much is the bus price fare is okay price is not okay salary versus wage he receives a monthly salary he receives a monthly wage so salary we typically used for the fixed regular payment and wage is generally used for the hourly or daily payment wide versus broad the road is wide so it is generally used for physical dimensions such as roads or rivers and he has a wide knowledge on the subject so broad knowledge is a correct term for the extensive knowledge next is the antonymy antonymy refers to the relationship between the words that are opposite with respect to one feature of their meaning that is they represent the extreme on the same scale these words while opposite in one aspect are otherwise similar it is a binary opposition or exist at opposite ends of a same scale for example on the scale of size small big state warm and cool direction north and south amount few many time morning evening quality good bad personality optimist pessimist action give take place inside outside gender man and woman so they are same on the, they are extreme on the same scale otherwise they are in the same nature gradation in linguistic it typically describes a sequence of related words or phrases that show a progression or range within a particular category here the examples are given category and gradation example like action it may be whisker talk shout speed crawl walk jog run sprint so these are the different example for gradation homonymy homonymy refers to the phenomenon where two or more, more words share the same spelling and pronunciation that is bat cricket or animal or same spelling and different pronunciation that is for music it is bass and for fish it is bass or different spelling and same pronunciation for example flower for plant and flower for grain but meanings are totally different homonyms can be further classified into homophones and homographs 
so homophones is nothing but words that sounds the same but different meaning and offer different spellings like flower f l o w r and f l o u r another example is c that is c for ocean and c is for watch that is they are different in spelling but their pronunciation is same and meanings are always different in homonymy homographs word that spelled they have words that are spelled the same but have different meanings and may have different pronunciation for example lead when we want to use for the guide or leader then we use the lead and for metal we use the lead that is we pronounce it as a lead now see the other example bat a flying mammal a piece of equipment used in sports like cricket bow to bend the upper part of the body and bow can be a weapon for shooting shooting the arrows tear a drop of fluid from the eye to rip something apart bark again with the dog or outer covering of a tree well a source of water or good health match is nothing but the a device to produce flame or a competition so these are different examples of the homonymy problems with nlp application first is text to speech conversion the same orthographic form but different phonological form that is nothing but homographs that is their uh, pronunciation is different but spelling is same the system requires to correctly choose the appropriate pronunciation based on the context for example he will lead the team and the paint contains the lead so based on the neighboring context we can identify that whether to pronounce lead or whether to pronounce the lead information retrieval homonyms can lead to the ambiguity in search queries or document retrieval because of the same word can have multiple meanings for example bank have two meanings one is financial institution and second is the age of river but when we search for a bank the information retrieval system needs to determine the user's intents and that for that we should provide the additional context or related words in the query to retrieve the relevant documents speech recognition that is speech to text conversion homophones are words that sounds the same but have different meanings and often different spellings they pose challenge for speech recognition that is speech to text conversion for example 2 2 and 2 i want to go to college there are two books on the table he drank too much holding so when we want to recognize this uh, statement and convert to the text at that time we need a neighboring context to identify whether it is to two or t double o polysemy polysemy refers to the phenomenon where single word has multiple related meaning that is different senses unlike homonyms which have different meanings that are unrelated polysemy involves the meanings that share a common semantic thread for example a paper sense one sense two and sense three and related examples are given so for paper the it may have the sense like a material made from cellulose pulp used for writing printing or wrapping related example is given sense two may be a scholarly article published in an academic journal and third sense can be a daily or weekly publication containing news and other informative articles and based on its sense the examples are provided here so you can read the example or even you can write down the example of your own based on the sense next is book a set of written printed or blank pages fastened together into cover this is one sense a reservation or arrangement for hotel and travel now here we can see that the in polysemy the senses may happen that they are the quite different from each other a record of best uh, a record of bets placed and money paid out in gambling so this is again one sense of book for head the upper part of the human body or front part of the body in animals typically containing the brain eyes ears nose and mouth the second sense may be a leader or person in charge of something that is he heading something the top or highest part of the something so that are the different senses of the head polysemy and zigma test the zigma test help to determine if different uses of the words involve the distinct senses is very important if combining the uses into single sentence with a conjunction sounds odd or nonsense then this words has a multiple senses or polysemy if it sounds fine the word likely has a single or broad sense now we'll see the example for example lose i lost my keys and lost my temper so both statements are totally different in context wise 
now if we combine then it will come as i lost my keys and my temper now this combination looks odd though suggesting that lose has a different sense here so first sense one is nothing but the related with misplaced of an object and second is nothing but related with angry or upset now see the next example run she runs every morning she runs a successful business the context are totally different engage in activity of running and manage or operate a business so these are the two different senses for that example run if we make the combined statement she runs every morning and successful business the combination again sounds odd and suggesting the different sense break he broke the vase and he broke the record so here also the he broke the vase and the record the combination again sounds odd and suggesting the different senses so he broke the vase and he broke the record they are not in the same context but in a different context even the words are same next is hypernemia and hyponemia this is very easy in semantics hyponemia refers to the relationship between the more specific term so hypo is nothing but specialization and more general term that is nothing but hypernemia or superordinate the more specific term denotes a subclass of the more general form now example so hypernemia is generalization and hyponemia is specialization for example rose is hyponemia of flower because flower is at the super class and rose is a subclass so subclass is nothing but the uh, hyponemia and super class is nothing but the uh, hypernemia sorry subclass yeah that is rose here it is subclass so it is nothing but hyponemia and the super class that is nothing but generalization that is nothing but hypernemia so rose is hyponym of flower and exactly opposite flower is hypernemy of rose sparrow is hyponym of bird and bird is hypernemy of sparrow so in this way we can write down the specialization and generalization that is nothing but hypernemy and hyponemy and all this information we required to maintain in wordnet next is meronymy and holonymy this is again very important to keep in a wordnet Meronymy is semantic relationship where one term denotes a part of something and the other term denotes a whole. That is nothing but part whole relationship. The relationship is asymmetric and transitive, meaning that if A is a part of B, B is a part of C, then A is a part of C. So the meronym is nothing but the part and the holonym is nothing but the whole. Now petal is meronym of flower because flower represents a whole. So petal is meronym of flower. and flower is holonym of petal because flower is nothing but the the uh, broad concept so flower is the holonym of petal so here in this way we can see the example for book chapter tree leaf and waker and car and here we can see that that holonym is nothing but at upper level flower book tree and waker and their parts are petal chapter leaf and car next is the entailment and toponymy entailment is a semantic relationship where the truth of one statement necessary implies the truth of another for example snoring entails the sleeping because whenever the snoring possible then only the, then the first step is always sleeping so snoring entails the sleeping so if sleeping is there snoring can be possible hyponymy generally involves the entailment topo toponymy is the presence of manner relationship between the two lexemes so temporal relation is the important thing a semantic relationship in which concept indicates a time or period of an event designated by another concept for example there are variety types but uh, this is at uh, at the initial level we don't require too much uh, discussion on entailment and toponymy so i have taken only simple example to explain the concept so variety types of their entailment with temporal relationship so toponymy inclusion that is coexistiveness toponymy exclusion proper inclusion entailment without temporal relation so here the time is required between the two processes and here time is not there between the two processes in which backward presupposition and cause is there now for example when snoring and sleeping is there so there is a temporal relationship is there because some time is exist for example buying and paying some time is there but when we are doing some both things are somewhat different but they can happen simultaneously that is nothing but what toponymy inclusion so for simplicity i have explained only this example 
so troponomy inclusion it describes a manner relationship between the verbs where the specific action happens within the context of general action for example walk and stroll stroll is nothing but leisurely manner of walking so hypernymy is walk that is nothing but generalized concept and hyponymy that is sub uh, specialization is nothing but the stroll that is one way of walk she stroll in the park she walk in the park if a is true b is also true strolling is a specific manner of walking and both actions occur within the same frame so these ref these are the references used for this video thank you